Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to show you how to easily unlock the listing post type that comes with the My Listing theme. Once you unlock this post type, it opens an, quite a number of doors um, for you to both optimize for performance, um, do additional design, um, target specific uh, display conditions with Elementor Pro's templates, etc., uh, etc. Et so let's run through this real quick. Uh, on the My Listing Club website, if you go into Resources, Code Snippets, uh, you'll see a code snippet here, unlock the listings post type. Click on that. It's going to give you the snippet here that you can apply to your website. And the instructions say you can add it to your functions PHP. Um, you can do that. I, I recommend instead doing it through the code snippets plugin, which is free. Um, I will go back through all of these instructions and update them to include the code snippets information. Uh, the plugin information that is, uh, just to give you another option. Uh, okay, so I'll show you both of those as we go along here. Okay, so we'll just keep that window open. Here we have, here we're looking at a listing. So if we scroll down, we see we have a footer here and we have a newsletter subscribe form. If we look at the home page, you know, the same footer is being applied to the whole website. This may not make sense to you, to your web, for your website on the single listings to have this. Or maybe you want to have a different footer altogether, take the footer out completely, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to show you how, for example, to hide the footer completely. So if we go back to our dashboard, let me quickly copy this code snippet. Go back to our dashboard, you can go to Appearance, Theme Editor, Theme Functions. At this point, we're editing your functions PHP file. If you're going to go this route, make sure you have a child theme in place so future updates to the theme do not overwrite this. Uh, but above this, my recommendation is to use the free Code Snippets plugin. So let's skip the functions PHP for now. If we pull up our Code Snippets, here, and you can see I've got a number of them here. Um, I've got some that are tagged here with the uh, functions PHP. So we're just going to duplicate one of those. I'm going to I'm going to clone this one. Edit the clone. I'm going to change the name to unlock the listings the listing post type. I'm going to go ahead and drop in. I'm going to replace the current code snippet that was in for this for this one. And I'm also going to update the description just in case I ever want to export this to another site or something in the comment. Make sure the comment is in there. Cuz maybe, you know, the maybe the other website isn't using the code snippets plugin. Just you want that comment to be in there. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is check our tags. This is this is strictly for organizing your snippets and searching for them. So we've got a tag of functions.php. We're also going to do uh, let's do post type. Um, let's do yeah. Let's just leave it at that. So we're also going to save changes and activate the snippet. If we go back to our snippets, we will see the uh, see our snippet activated here. Here it is. Unlock listing post type. You can quickly toggle that on and off if you don't want to use it. But real quickly, like the tags example. So let's do post type and do a search. It's going to pull up all of our snippets that have that text in it. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and toggle this off so I can show you the difference here. If we pull up our elements or templates and pull up our footer, edit the footer,
We click on this little button right here and go to display conditions. So this is where you say, where do I want to apply this footer throughout the site? Where do I not want to apply it? So quickly here, I'm saying I want to apply the footer to the enti entire site. But then after that, I say I want to exclude it on the Explore pages, exclude it in WooCommerce, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So as you see here, if we let's say we want to add another condition to exclude the footer on listings. We go to Exclude, Singular, and as we see here, there's listings do not appear on the side. So the only way to get around it is to get really tricky, like maybe doing it by the author, for example, but that just gets really messy. So let's go ahead and save this back. Now let's toggle on our code snippet. Let's refresh uh, our template. Let's go back to those display conditions. Let's do an exclusion for singular pages. Okay, so this is a good training example. So we see listings are still not here. So that means that our snip something is wrong with our, our snippet or the way it's set up in the code snippets plugin. So let's edit that. Our code snippet looks fine. We were saying only run on the site front end. That's the problem. So we want to just run this snippet everywhere. Save changes. Let's go back into our template. Refresh. There we go. So now we see that opens up all these doors of how you can target target these. So let's just target. Well, while we're in here, let's just cover what, what this can do. So we can just hide the footer from all listings or, you know, maybe you want to display a special footer on, you know, for certain listing types. So really cool stuff here. Um, so we're just going to hide by all listings and just leave that at all. Okay. Save and close. Now let's go back to our listing. Refresh the page. There we go. We see our footer is gone. Let's go back to our home page. Refresh. Our, our footer, is, footer is still there. Anyway, really cool stuff. This opens a lot of doors for you and uh, helps you target your specific customers. Optimize for performance by not loading elements on certain pages or posts. Uh, just really good stuff. Hope this helps you all. Talk to you later.